So this is question number 1.21 of Kleppner Colin Co. And in this question, we have given a hill. This is our hill. And this hill, this angle that this hill is making with the horizontal is 5. And a person is uh, throwing a stone like this in on the hill, like this. So if the person throws the stone at different angle, at a different angle, so it will cover different range on the hill. So I in the question uh, we have been asked at which angle, at which theta it should be thrown so that uh, our range is maximum. So, uh, so we want this point to be maximum. So what is this point? This point is uh, actually the uh, point of uh, intersection of the uh, of the uh, equation of the uh, stone and the hill. Uh, draw if I find the point of intersection of the equation of uh, hill and equation of uh, the path of the particle. Uh, and I I do the calculus of maxima minima, then I can find the point at which it will this uh, this will be this range will be maximum. So uh, let us find firstly find the equation of the path of this stone and equation of the hill. So uh, equation of path of stone. So this is a stone. And this is thrown like this direct like this on the hill. So this is our theta. If this is u, so if this horizontal component will be u cos theta. This vertical component will be u sin theta. So uh, my equation for x direction will be x is into x is equal to u cos theta into time. Uh, this will be for our x direction. And at time t uh, for a y direction, we are using as we are using actually in for this expression s equal to u t plus half a t square. Acceleration in the horizontal direction is zero, so it is x equal to u cos theta into t. And y direction for uh, for our y uh, uh, for our y direction, the equation will be given by u of sine theta int. Uh, minus of half as acceleration is g, uh, negative so minus g into uh, t square minus half g square so i will use uh, i will put uh, i will eliminate t as i want the equation so expression uh, uh, in y and x so i will eliminate t using this expression so it will be x is equal to x uh, t equal to x upon u cos theta i will plug in the value of all these here so y equals to u sine theta into time the time is x upon u cos theta and minus half z what is t the t is uh, our u uh, t is our x u cos theta whole square now u can cancel with u and our expression is y equal to tan theta multiplied by x minus of half z x square upon u square cos square theta. So this is uh, the equation of the projectile thrown at an angle theta. Uh, uh, so this is our equation. Now let us find the equation of the hill. So let us write for equation of hill. Equation of hill. This is very easy. So the hill is this. This line is hill, and this is our phi. I have chosen the coordinate, my coordinate system, uh, my coordinate system here at this point. So this is our origin. So uh, this is so this is phi. If I this is my x-axis, this is my y-axis, and if I cho have chosen coordinate here, so th this angle will be phi this will be 90 minus phi so my equation of the hill as we know equation is y max plus c and uh, this this is tan theta in uh, tan of angle into x plus 0 the slope is 0 here so so this will be y into what is tan theta this is tan of 90 minus with the x axis this is 90 minus phi plus 90 so 90 plus 90 minus phi uh, and this will be tan of 180 180 minus 5 and this will be 
minus of tangent of pi. So we have two equations and uh, the first equation is we have two equation. First equation is our tan theta into x minus of r g of x square uh, u square cos square theta and our second equation is this will be here x x so this will be our minus of tan phi into x now i have to evaluate the expression for the uh, uh, point of cross section so the point of cross section can be get got by solving uh, this equation simultaneously so i will put the y here so this is minus tangent of phi into x is equal to tan of theta x minus of half g of x square u square cos square theta so so let me bring all this stuff here so this will be our half g of x square u square cos square theta and this will be our minus of tan of phi uh, tan of theta into x and this will be our okay this will be our minus of tan of phi into x equal to zero so this is the our expression so i will take x as common here so inside it remain uh, as uh, what inside it remains so it remain inside as half of g into u square cos square theta minus of tan of theta minus of tan of phi equal to zero so i get one solution for this as x equal to zero and we know that x equal to zero is the point of intersection of the hill and this this here this x equal to zero is also point of intersection now let us find the other point of intersection which is uh, uh, which will be got by solving this equation so how we will solve this equation let us uh, solve so our value of x is x is equal to uh, gx square gx 2u square cos square theta was is tan theta plus tan of pi and uh, if i evaluate the x it is 2 u square cos square theta upon g and it is tan theta plus tan of pi let me bring the theta inside so that i can differentiate with respect to theta uh, easily as i have to uh, uh, find the x for the, which this is maximum with respect to theta so 2 u square upon z is cos square theta into tan theta plus cos square theta into tan phi okay so x will be 2 u square upon g and this will be sin theta upon uh, 1 cos so theta terms will get cancelled with tan of phi into cos square theta I can do further manipulation. This will be 2 u square upon z. I can bring 2 here and 2 here. So this will be sine 2 theta divided by 2 plus cos square theta into tan of phi. Okay. So now what I have to do, this is the, these are the two points. One was x equal to 0 and this is other point for which, for the intersection of the path of the projectile and the path of the uh, our um, hill so uh, i have to differentiate now uh, for getting the maximum x uh, so uh, with respect to theta let me differentiate this is dx over d theta equal to and if i differentiate it so it will be 2u square upon z uh, so sine 2 theta uh, differentiation will be cos 2 theta divided by 2 and divided by 2 into 2 that is 4 plus uh, differentiation of cos 2 theta will be 2 cos theta and this will be minus so minus sine theta into tan of uh, phi and this is this so uh, I, I have to evaluate the expression i have to find now the maxima so i am differentiating dx over d theta so uh, so it will be so it will be let me put dx over d theta as 0 so it will be 2 u square upon z cos 2 theta upon 4 minus 2 cos theta sine theta tan phi as 0 so let me put this as cos 2 theta divided by 4 minus 2 cos theta 
sin theta as tan phi equals to 0. So it will be cos 2 theta, it will be uh, my what will be it will be 8 of cos theta sin theta tan of phi. Now let us do further manipulation. So I have done here one thing wrong. The differentiation of sin 2 theta will be cos 2 theta multiplied by 2. So this factor will not be there. It will cancel. So this I have done wrong. So this was this. So our this will be now 2 cos theta sin theta tan of phi. Now let me do further manipulation. So I can write it as cos 2 theta equals to this will be my sin 2 theta tan of phi. If I do solve it further this will be cos 2 theta tan of uh, sorry sine of 2 theta equals to tan of phi it will be tan of 2 theta equals to tan of phi and uh, sorry this will be cot of 2 theta and I can write it as tan of uh, 90 minus 2 theta equals to tan of phi and uh, I can write it as 90 minus 2 theta equal to tan of phi and my uh, 90 minus 2 theta must be equal to phi so for a given phi my uh, 2 theta will become 90 minus phi so theta will become 90 minus phi over 2 so this is our answer so using the calculus of uh, the uh, the uh, maximum minima we have find it out now you can ask me how you know that this theta is maximum so it can be maximum only it cannot be minimum because it uh, the range will be minimum only when theta, uh, we we have thrown it up so that it is zero so uh, it uh, so at this angle at this angle other than the zero it will only can be maximum so this this theta is for maximum for mathematically verifying you can calculate double derivative and uh, if uh, and check the sign if it is will be greater than zero it will uh, it will be uh, minima it will be less than zero then it will be maxima and you will find that it will always be greater than zero sorry less than zero